Namaste and welcome to the first episode of Plotter Estate Management Hero Series. In this episode, we will learn what estate management is and why we need estate management solution. To understand what estate management is, we first need to understand what a state of an application or a component is. So I'm using a general term here instead of visits and Flutter application, I'm using components and general application. This is because you can use these fundamentals in any other frameworks like React.js or many other similar frameworks, Vue.js and so on. So a component has a state. What state is, it is any information or data that a component can read when it is built or when it is building or displaying its information to the user. And this data might change. So why we call it a state? Because this might change based on either user interaction or network request or such as data streams if we are talking about real time applications. So a state is any data or information that is available to a component and that might change again and again based on certain actions, maybe user actions or network actions. So we now know that state is a data which can change. And whenever the state changes, let's say, the state changes based on user interaction. Suppose in an application, we have a button and whenever user presses that button, we need to show a loading state. And for that, our state is changing. Whenever user action, user presses the button, our state is changing from normal to loading state and our UI needs to reflect those changes. So for a simple application, if you are talking about a single component, like just now I talked about a button when it is pressed, it must display the loading state. Then we can simply use a stateful component. Okay. We don't need a complex state management solution. Talking about Flutter, we can simply use a stateful widget. Whenever user presses the button, we can change the state and a stateful widget will automatically reload and display the information as we require. However, as the application grows, there are lots of components that interact with one another and the state or data is manipulated from one component that has to be reflected in lots of other components and same data has to be available all over the application. When these kind of situations arise, then we need a solution that allows us to pass data from one widget to another or one component to another easily. And whenever data changes, it will have to notify all the components that is using those data so that any component that is that user is views, viewing can know that data has changed and they can update themselves to show or reflect the changes to the user. So that is why we need a state management solution. And a proper state management solution provides us with functionality to manage a state, to update the state, to change the state and for the components to subscribe to those state and whenever the state changes, the components that subscribed are notified and the components will rebuild themselves in order to show the changes to the user. So this is why we need a proper state management solution when our application grows. Even talking about a simple application that has a authentication where user can log in and view certain information and they cannot view those information when they are logged out. We need a state management. So by using state management, we can easily pass the user's data from one component to another, check whether or not the user is logged in in every component of our application and show the information accordingly. And whenever user authentication state changes, let's say user logs out, then all the components are notified and any private data will not be accessible to the user. So this is the introduction to state management, why we need it and what it is. I hope you don't have confusion after this why we need a state management solution. If you have any confusions, if you have any problems, do share in the comments below or you can even tag me in Twitter with your 
problems. Thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. We'll learn about, we'll learn more on these fundamentals and we'll start building our application from the next episode. Thank you.